Well then, Bonasaurus Rex. Cough, yes. Cough, a bit. cough, cough, beginning of the bit. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I, I, yes. I, I need to. I need to give a shout out, and that's going to lead into something else because it just can't. Okay. It just can't. Okay. Take it. But this is going out to to a friend of mine. <clears throat> Joey Manacuso. Okay. There you go. You Good do not. Out. You do not. This was the worst week for this to have happened to you. I don't think you could possibly realize the fun Kovifi had. How much oh, yeah. fun that was. Just yeah. absolute fun. Everybody was just being silly. And it still pissed the right off. And memes yep. were a flying. I Everybody had a nice, unique spin on it, too. I, 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 I was doing more direct jokes. I didn't get into memes. So one of mine was um, we now know Donald Trump's safe word. Yeah. Okay. Nice. But Joey Manacuso uh, made a meme. Um, and unfortunately, everybody but you is going to know this meme. He took Mein Kampf. Yeah. And he he put Trump's picture on the cover instead and made it Mein Kofifi. Nice. And he was Fair. smart enough to have watermarked it. It's very hard to see. Oh, good. Yes. Okay. This has gone everywhere. There are... Good for cons- him. Kofifi w- was so big that there are already articles uh, uh, about, like, top ten Kofifi memes, you know? Yeah. And how Kofifi is trending and all of this shit. His meme made number two in the top ten list of Kofifi memes. I, I, on my own Facebook, saw it all over by people that I know damn sure have no idea who this guy is. Yeah. You know? So so amazing. It wound up on George Takai's wall, his his Twitter. Um it made top on uh Reddit. I know nothing about Reddit, but it made made like top meme or whatever there. Just all over. So I needed to give him a shout out. Um and yeah, man, fucking go Fifi. Very nice. <laughs> no, that was fun. And yeah, the thing <laughs> Oh, I did one I did I did make one meme. I did make one. Um I took Pepe and at the top I put Pepe rebranded Kofifi. Nice. Mm-hmm. Kofifi. I'm gonna have Kofifi. To practice that it's a little tough because it's actually more like cove fifi yeah. c-o-v-f-e-f-e covivi but that cannot you know just talking about that and how 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 this thing which again pissed the right off was just a goddamn bit of fun people lighten up these are jo- i would laugh at these jokes Whatever president it was, you know, I, I would I would be making these jokes. May they never make a Guardians of the Galaxy film, okay? Okay, I swear <laughs> yeah. on Guardians of the Galaxy. It was just fucking funny. It was just funny as hell, and memes, like I said, were flying all over the place. And, yeah. and, and I saw, I saw, I saw a good number of them, and I was impressed by the fact that that it, I didn't see a lot of repetition in jokes. And that's something that you see a lot when some big event happens. That one person says a joke, and then you're on Twitter, and someone yeah. says a slightly different version of the same same joke. Everybody had a unique spin on it. Yeah, you know. 
That was the part I was impressed about. Mm-hmm. And, okay, e- both sides have lunatics. Can we accept that? Yeah. You know, both sides have little fringe fucking nut jobs. Kind of like Kathy Griffin. But, yeah. But for the most part, everybody was just having a good time with this, and nobody thought it was anything but a typo. Yeah. Which makes it really seem strange to me that when the question came up in the White House press briefing with Sean Spicer, when he was asked about Kofifi, he did not simply say, Come on, guys. It was just a typo. No. He, like, he that to... That was the answer. That was the answer that would have been perfectly acceptable, would have been true, and yeah. something we all knew anyway, because it was just a bit of fun. No. A handful no, but he of... was obviously told. Yeah. A handful of people, he literally said, a handful of people know what the president meant. Yeah. How fucking, how fucking stupid. How fucking stupid are you? Okay? In the middle of investigations for collusion with fucking Russia, you are going to imply that President Trump is tweeting code words to a fucking secret cabal? Yeah. What the fuck is the matter with you? That doesn't even yeah. make any goddamn sense. It was a typo, you moron. That's all you had to say. Yeah. Like you can't this even is the you can't equivalent. you can't even tell the motherfucking truth if it's in your advantage. Yeah. This is the presidential equivalent of someone walking down the street and then falling and then saying, oh, yeah, I meant to do that. I meant to do that. Totally meant to do that. I literally got so pissed off. I was within inches of calling my senators and saying, I want this investigated. I want this investigated. This is coming out of the White House. It must be true. Yeah. You know? Why is our why would our government be be lying to us, and why is he tweeting secret code words to only a handful of people, and we don't know who they are? I want that investment. Yeah, Maxwell is still beatboxing. Maxwell is just a Maxwell's got the music in his soul, and that's exactly Jeez. why. If I was in New Jersey, I would say, fucking knew it. <laughs> no, if you it. were in New Jersey, if you were in New Jersey, you would have died from the uh, explosion at yes. the nuclear power plant. Yes. It's very sad. And again, our hearts are with all of the victims of New Jersey. Of Their still families New Jersey. need, be a good neighbor. Be a good neighbor. Yeah. Be, be be a good Muslim. Just they do more charitable work. Than, be a good Satanist. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Reach out to your neighbors in their time of need, and help the families of the ones that we've lost. Because I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hate to say it. I hate to be a Reverend Pringle, you know. But they're dead. They they're beyond our help. But these people, Purple. these Purple. people are alive, and they deserve yeah. it. Life is for the living. Life is for the living. That's what I kept. That's what I kept yelling to Bella when she's breaking these poor boys' hearts because she wants to shack up with a undead vampire. <laughs> Damn, two two fucking living human boys. Yeah. Just asked you to the goddamn prom, mm-hmm. and you're pining for an undead monster. Why don't you try living for a change? <laughs> Life is for living, for humans with yeah. blood coursing through their veins. Yeah. 
Jesus. <clears throat> well, then. and from there it gets even worse. <laughs> I 